In this video, we are going to discuss day 7 problem number 3 as part of our 60 days DSA series. So it's a very interesting question on stack. You will find it very fascinating, easy but complicated due to use of double recursion. So let's look at the problem and then talk about the solution. Before we go to the problem, I will request you to subscribe to our channel because we create a lots of healthy and useful content that will really really help you. So here we are going to discuss a very interesting problem that is sort a stack. So we are given a stack. The task is to sort it such that top of the stack has the greatest element like stack is given 3 to 1. So output should be 3 to 1. Uh, it's an already sorted. So you, you can see 11, 2, 32, 3, 41 is the given output which means topmost elements is 11. We have to sort it in a way 41 which is the largest comes at the top then 32 then 11, 3 and 2. You can use two approaches here. You can either use recursion or you can use a temporary stack. But using recursion is more efficient and it will help you learn a new way to solving complex problems. Okay. So please try it on your own. You can pause the video and try the solution. If you are not able to solve it, you can look at the solution and try after watching it. This is the array that we have to sort. So let me first tell you what approach are we going to use. What we are going to do, we are going to first pop all the elements from the top to bottom in a recursive manner. Then we are going to call a function that is sorted insert, which will insert every position at its correct position in a sorted manner. So let's look at how it's going to run. So we are going to call the pop. So we pop two, then we pop one, then we pop zero. As you know, recursive, uh, when you call it creates a call stack of its own. So what it is 2105 is a call stack of its own. So when we have popped all the elements, then the first element is uh, called to the sorted insert what it will do the stack is empty now so what it will do it will find its correct position that it has to be inserted so it will check a condition whether it is empty or it is greater than the topmost element so it is empty so it will simply add to here and this call will get ended so next sort inserted will be called by one now it will check the topmost element is two which is greater than one so we cannot add it so what we are going to do we are going to pop two and save it into a temporary variable or it can also be another call stack of sorted insert because there will be second recursive calls for it so this call has ended and again a recursive call will be made from one to sorted insert now it will come and check it is empty so it will be added and this call is removed so we don't have to do anything for one now so what will happen in the same call what will happen two will also be pushed onto the same stack so two will be added here so this also gets diluted next what will happen next call will execute is zero to sorted inter insert so it will see two is greater than that so it will pop two will come here again a call will be made to sorted insert uh, let me remove two first Okay, so it will see one is there. So what it will do, it will pop one as well. One will also save in the uh, sorted insert recursive call stack. Okay, so stack will become empty and another call to sorted insert will be made for zero. So this time zero will be added and all these calls will finish. Okay, I hope you are able to understand. Now what will happen? A push will be called for one and one will be added. Then the push will be called for Two, because you know these are also being contained in another call stack which is of sorted insert so this was sort call stack of sort function and this is the uh, call stack of sorted insert function so last five will be called sorted insert so it will go at the top it is greater than two so it will be just added there and this call will end and this is how we will get our sorted stack so let's look at the code. We'll first look at C++, then Java, then Python. So this is the sort function, which is the primary function. First, we'll check whether it is, let me zoom it in. First, we'll check if stack is empty or not. It will keep popping element until the stack becomes empty. So it will take the topmost element, save it into X, pop that element and call the sort function recursively again. So it will keep on popping all the element from top to bottom. Then it will start calling sorted index insert on the stack as well as the popped element. Here we come in the sorted insert. There is a stack element and X value. So it will check whether it is empty 
or the current element is greater than top if it is greater than top then it will push x directly and return the call that's the way i told you like the call ends if it is not if it is lesser than that then we'll go further in this so it will pop the top the pop uh, sorry <laughs> top pop it gets confusing so it will pop the topmost element and keep it temp and again call sorted index insert as i've told you in the explanation on the x again and that will call again go and check if it is empty it will push return or it will go down when all this happened all these calls happen then push happen with the first element and it is pushed onto the top of the stack so it's a very uh, simple solution yet complicated because we are using two recursions on two functions so two call stacks are made so if you consider the size of the call stack as a size of an external space so it will be o n depending on the number of elements in the stack so let's look at the java code so here we have another a sort function with stack integer s you can also your dq which is more uh, faster and run more efficient than the stack class of java you will check whether the stack is empty or not if it is not empty you will keep popping uh, all the characters and call recursively sort s again with the same x that you have popped you will call the sorted insert so when all the pops happen the sorted insert call will be made for the first element stack and x is passed it will check if either the stack is empty or stack is greater than the current topmost value if it is greater than that then it will simply push and return if it is not it will continue down and it will pop the topmost element and call the inserted uh, sorted inserted again sorted insert sorry again on the x and it will check again if it is greater than it will push at it will else it will come down to pop once the current x is inserted it will be pushed onto the temp so you can see the uh, number which was to be inserted is smaller so you pop the greater number and you inserted the smaller number and then you again push the greater number so it's a very simple approach but it's quite complicated let's look at the python code so again here is a sorted function uh, where we are going to pop each element recursively from top to bottom if length is not matlab if stack is not empty you are going to pop you are going to call sorted again and you are going to call sorted insert on the temp in the sorted insert function what we are going to do stack is there element is there and you are going to check whether the stack is empty or the element to be inserted is greater than the topmost element if it is so you are going to append the next element and return if it is uh, lesser than that then you will pop the topmost element and insert the current element again call the sorted insert again if the next element is also greater than that then you will pop it again and call the insert again so when the insert happens the greater number will be appended on the top and so this problem will work if you have any queries you can ask us in the live session that happens daily you have your time given to you you can also ask your queries in the comment section below okay i hope you are able to understand this problem very clearly so like this we are cover another 300 problems in a 60 day dsc series so do join it you will find the link in the description you can look at the number of problems what kind of problems you can follow on your own or you can join our dsc series so that you can learn better and cover almost everything you need to learn in dsc in just 60 days in c++ java and python